Am I on focus? All right. I don't know. I just put on this brush here. Is that a thing actually? Having this brush on and I feel like I don't know. I feel like a Chanel says associate. Like hello, welcome to Chanel. What can I show you today? I'm just not wearing this brush. You know, I bought this brush about almost seven years ago, guys seven or six years ago and I've worn it only five times. I've worn it with a dress, you know, to keep it a little bit close here on the decollete and I worn it once or twice as well on a jean jacket but I never really put it on, you know, like close, close like this so I don't know. For the sake of this video I thought I'd just put on some jewelry since I am not going anywhere and I really want to use my stuff. Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I really, really hope you're all doing well. Today I'm back with a video on Louis Vuitton repair. I went through a few repairs um, the past 10 years, you know, the past couple of years I went through a few repairs and I thought, you know, I'm just gonna share my experience with you guys. So if you are interested, then keep on watching. As you guys know, Louis Vuitton gives this repair service. If you buy if you buy an item at their store, you have, if I'm not mistaken, 24 months guarantee. So if something happens during the 24 months and before it was even less, before it was maybe 12 months and they extended it to 24 months or maybe it was always like this and I've just been given a wrong information. However, this is the last update I have and you basically can go back to the store and you know, bring your item that may be broken or have an issue within the 24 month after your purchase date and they will decide whether they shall, you know, ship it in for repair, replace it or provide you with a, um, I don't know, like a gift card or like a shopping voucher, you know, for the amount you spent or sometimes even for the amount the items value. So I give you an example. This happened to me once. I purchased a Zippy Compact wallet 10 years ago. It was my first wallet ever. And within the first two years, the zipper broke. On that particular wallet so I went in and obviously this they sent it in they replaced the zipper gave it to me back and the same issue happened another time within the same 12 month after I got the wallet back from repair so I go back again to the Louis Vuitton store and they evaluated the issue um, they kept it like a week or twice or two weeks sorry um, I believe they kept it like a week so after that they reached out to me and you know they they said look they decided to either and yeah they decided to give me a voucher on the value of the actual va va wallet so i purchased it let's pretend i paid 400 bucks right and when i brought it in the second time for repair the wallet already increased in price and was 500 bucks so at the time they provided me with a gift card of 500 bucks you know in order to either exchange either to get you know either i shall get the same wallet or i invest the money towards something else in the store all right these are kind of the policies from louis vuitton and um as mentioned the first item i brought in was the zippy compact wallet they fixed it once, they didn't fix it twice, they actually gave me this voucher. I ended up purchasing something else and at another time I repurchased the wallet, thanks God, because it's been discontinued. By now they just uh, created a new version of the CP Compact wallet and I still have the flat version. Then um, the second item I brought in for repair is in this dust bag. And as you guys follow me for a while, you know that is it's this beautiful Montsouris backpack. And there you go. This is the Montsouris backpack in the GM size. And this might be 20 years old, guys. It's a vintage piece for sure. So the history behind this backpack is that my aunt owned this bag. Um, you know, she was the one that's been... 
I believe she has been gifted this backpack for a job anniversary and she used it and it was beat up it was absolutely worn out and you know um at some point she gifted it to me because she knew that i'm into Louis Vuitton and i was you know starting on my collection she didn't use that backpack anymore so she gifted this to me the whole vaqueta was completely darkened and you know patina and even one of the strap was broken and um and yeah, so what I decided is, I decided to bring this in to Louis Vuitton for repair. So basically I replaced all the vaqueta that is on the handbag, meaning, you know, this buckle here on the front. So I didn't, I didn't replace any hardware. I just replaced the vaqueta because replacing also the hardware would have cost way too much. And that's something that I even, I couldn't even tell how much repairs would cost or based on what they calculate but um clearly uh 10 years ago or eight years ago it was way less expensive than it is now sometimes now you pay almost the same amount as the item cost if it is worth it depends on you know what you know how you care about the item or if you want to invest that type of money to get it repaired especially if the item is no longer available so anyway, back then I decided to replace only the baquette leather and of course as well repairing the here the cloth strap. So meaning the front and you know the front buckle piece of leather buckle here on the back, this here, and the whole bottom. So I shall tell you guys my experience was absolutely awesome. I shipped it in or they shipped it in for me at uh, at Louis Vuitton Paris where the repair took place and I think they kept it about eight weeks until I received it back and it was only then when I noticed that the date code of this handbag was gone um, I don't know where it was placed I did some research however some of the handbag some of the monserie had the or have the date code here on this buckle piece of leather you know here on it and others have it inside the handbag where the d-ring is you know as you can tell here is the, the piece of leather with the d-ring attached and some of the handbag have the date code date code here engraved now i could not remember where the date code on this handbag was um, engraved i assume it was on this leather piece and by replacing the leather piece the date co code was gone i you know found out i found it out few years after to be honest i never really um noticed it before and at some point it was way too late for me to go back and you know claim or you know what i mean so i ended up just leaving it as it is and because i still was very very happy with the repair i'm not i i, I don't tend to sell this handbag it will actually stay with me forever if i'm not you know able to pass it down um, or maybe to gift it to some family members later on uh, it's it's a piece that it's really a close to my heart first because I got it gifted from my aunt and second I ended up investing a lot of money to get this replaced and it's just a piece that I absolutely love um, this particular item has been discontinued by now however they replaced it twice with a new model um, they had like a few years ago they replaced it with a Montsuri without bottom without leather button and now um, a new version came out which is also very very beautiful uh, they released it in the empreinte leather as well as in the canvas and it's absolutely beautiful lessons learned here check all the items all the pieces if they are well made as well if the date code is still in place the next item i brought uh, into repair it's actually in my handbag which i'm wearing right now this is the Alma Bibi, by the way, and this is the bag I'm actually wearing right now, as you can tell, I have a few things. So the next item I uh, sent in for repair was this um, toiletry, toiletry pouch in the size 15. So, mm, let me 
all right so let me explain you what happened with this um, particular item I got that item as well about eight years ago seven eight years ago and the interior lining um, it's a wipeable, wipeable lining as you can tell the interior lining on the bottom basically um, I don't know if this happened because of humidity uh, probably because of humidity however the bottom and let me go and show you kind of right this is how the interior looks like and basically the bottom um swole up because of humidity probably i'm not quite sure so um this happened after the guarantee was gone you know so i purchased this one and this happened like two years after so i ended up bringing it in last year for repair i figured um since we are in a lockdown i'm not gonna use this as much so let me bring it in and send it for repair so i brought it in they kept it a few weeks even longer than eight weeks i believe obviously because of lockdown they send it back and they fix the bottom however the lining was very very bad stitched on the corners so you could really really tell well actually not stitched but you know with glue so you could really tell that the lining they put in again and they kind of glue it together do we say glue it i don't know but you know what i mean you know with the glue they just they just put it together you could tell that it was very poor and very bad made so and i had to pay for it right i also had to pay for my monstery and in case you wonder how much i paid i'm sorry if i didn't mention it before i paid back then to replace ho the whole maqueta about 700 or 800 swiss francs between 700 and 800 swiss francs for sure with this one um i paid over 200 swiss francs i, I believe i paid 250 or 225 swiss francs to replace the interior so i went in i paid for it i brought it home i had a deep look into the interior and i wasn't really happy i mean in the end i paid over 200 swiss francs and i pretend that the service um is well made right especially when it comes to Louis Vuitton and you pay for their item quite a lot I mean they keep they keep increasing those um, those prices um, but the quality somehow goes bad so I texted my sales associate and I told her look I really am not happy with how they repaired my item if I please can go in can come in and you know talk to her about it so she gave me an appointment that happened all after lockdown yeah so I went back and then I told her, look, this is the issue. I showed her clearly the inside. You can tell that there is glue. It's not been glued well. And I'm not happy in the end. I paid for it. So please, um, she shall send it back and they shall redo it, you know, for the money I paid. So she went, she, you know, she took this uh, repair again on and then apparently she sent it in. And a few days after or maybe a week a week after or 10 days after she texted me saying hey actually the um, Louis Vuitton is not going to repair the interior anymore but um, in return you would get a voucher of the value for the item so either you get the voucher or you get the item and I really wanted the item I mean especially that this item is so hard to get these days and I bought mine like seven or eight years ago so i clearly told her look either they repair it or i get a new one i don't want the money i don't want a voucher please go ahead and look after a new one so this is what she did she was very very kind absolutely helpful i can't say anything bad you know against her so she was very kind to find a new one for me i didn't have to pay any differences I just paid you know the 225 for the repair and I got this one in return brand new the only particular difference and this is also something I didn't pay attention to it you know in the store when I went and picked that up this particular item up I only saw when I was at home that it's made in Spain I don't have anything against made in Spain made in Italy made in France made in USA 
I actually could care less as long as the item is well made and I have a few pieces made in Spain and made in um, France I don't have anything made in Italy so far not even a scarf maybe a scarf I don't know anyway so but the item I used to have was made in France so I wished I would had the same item also made in France but nevertheless okay it's brand new I was happy that we could you know fix it this way and here another lessons learned um, not do not check only about the date code and the repair itself check as well where the item is made so the next item I brought in for repair is another pouch is the Toji pouch in the size 19 and here you guys I bought this one in um, Oh, I was with Shanti and Brigley. We were on a Europe European fashion trip and we were in Amsterdam when we met the Curly Life. I mean Sarah by the Curly Life. And so we went shopping. So I bought this. Oh, it was in 2015. Yeah, it was it was almost five, six years ago. So I purchased this one in Amsterdam and I used it quite a lot. I brought it with me in any trips, you know, as a cosmetic case. I put here all my makeup and I really, really love this particular size for makeup. I actually got inspired very much by Shanti. She used to have this one as her makeup bag and I felt in love. I Back then I had the round cosmetic pochette in the GM and I thought you know compared to this one it's this is way much more convenient so anyway I only brought it in to replace this tab here and since I was wearing it quite a lot this one here was very much darkened and patinaed so I went in and asked if they could replace you know just this vaqueta leather for me and for this particular one I believe I paid 55 Swiss francs last year nothing to say against this everything went well um, it still says made in France um, how it used to be and I'm happy so it's again looks brand new even though it's almost six years old it's it's I mean it's not old at all but it was just about the fact that I used this particular item quite a lot and the baqueta you know patina uh, enough for me to get it replaced and sometimes uh you know instead of waiting because the price increases and by the way guys the price increases as well on repair item so if you have something that you want to bring in for repair and it's past their guarantee period then don't wait because the price increases as well on their you know on this um price list so this is what i wanted to do last year that's why i went and go ahead and did it the last item I brought in for repair is my Mon monogram never full mm and you guys I purchased this particular handbag maybe eight or nine years ago and I used it a ton I love this handbag it's my travel bag if I'm not using another handbag and I'm really really you know happy that I back then placed my monogram order since the price increased absolutely on this one I believe it increased like about 300 Swiss francs from the time I placed the order um, until now so what happened here here I uh, what was it so last year everything happened in 2020 so last year um, where was it let me look after okay I got it can you tell that the leather trim is one piece and then they just stitch it here together or here? What happened on my back is that this um, became loose and that the trim, you know, basically was about to be removed, you know. So I went in and I said, look, this is going to happen, you know, uh, if I'm not sending it in for repair, the whole baqueta could be, you know, like you could peel it. So she asked me what I want to do if I want to replace only the leather trim here, you know, the leather vaqueta here on the top, or if I want to replace every single leather piece. And since I am a very picky person about my handbags, I went ahead and asked her to please send it in for repair and replace all the vaqueta inside 
and outside this handbag just because i didn't want to have this here brand new and this here then super you know worn out and patina so that's okay i sent it in i did not send in my pouch and this is another history to tell so i didn't send in the pouch i only sent in this one and they kept it they kept it over three months they kept it almost five months guys they kept it almost five months apparently um, and when I asked her about the price for the item she said it would cost me 550 Swiss francs replace all the vaquetta and I was like you know what let's just go ahead and do it I'll save for the money and it will take any I knew it it will take a, a couple of months so I'm gonna save the money that's fine it's okay so then I have a kind of brand new bag all right at the time I went in to pick up the handbag I've again only you know looked at it like this like oh yeah everything is fine beautiful I felt that the handle were a little bit mm, thick I'm not talking about stiff but thick kind of I remembered how they felt before I brought it in it, they were thinner and of course they were soft because I was using the bag but these ones felt thick but I didn't mind I thought you know maybe that's just because it's a new vaquetta maybe they just you know doing it differently anyway so i felt this thick but i was quite happy about the result they wanted to charge me over 700 swiss francs they actually asked me 750 swiss francs and before i even went you know before the payment went through i challenged that price and asked how come you know why are you charging me over 700 if the repair is about 550 and when you go in for repair they would print for you like a repair receipt where you have to sign and on that receipt you see the price that that is due when you go in and you know pick up your return item so i didn't have that particular uh, repair receipt with me but i had it back home so i knew that i could always go back and you know check but i just challenged the price i said well, what's going on what's you know i don't know what's going on like can you please clarify so she went back in um i don't know what she did but when she came back, she said, oh, I'm sorry, is that the price you have to pay? And she opened the receipt with 550. And I said, exactly, that's the price. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, there was just a confusion. So the payment went through, all fine. When I came home, of course, I inspected the handbag even better, you know, because I don't want to lose time in the store. I just, you know, let me take the bag, let's go home and let's inspect it. All right, there were a couple of things I noticed. So first of all, um, not not only the vaquetta was replaced, but also all the hardware. So basically all those D-rings here, inside and outside, the ribbits here, the ribbits, are they rib called ribbits here? This ones were replaced. The, even the D-ring has been replaced, the vaquetta, the D-ring inside, um, this clasp here was replaced to close the back. So even here inside, the zipper pool was replaced from this pocket and the vaquetta as well. I mean, this is what I requested. So I assume that they, um, by mistake, replaced the leather as well as the hardware. And then, of course, you know, charged, wanted to charge me for both items. But um, I was smart enough <laughs> just once. And, you know, I, I challenge the price. So always challenge the price. Never feel ashamed or insecure and, and pay what they ask you. But if you feel like there is something wrong, no matter where you are, and I'm not, I'm not talking only about Louis Vuitton. I'm talking about any stores, anything, even a service. Even if you go for a car wash, you know, and they charge you for something that you think it's not right. You just have to challenge because, you know, it could be a mistake. No, no, no blame to anyone. It, it could be a mistake and you can fix it and then you feel much, much better afterwards versus you pay and then you feel bad because you didn't challenge and you lo lost that money and you feel like this person might did bad to you when in fact maybe she, he did it, right? So always try to challenge. So I was happy that I challenged and I paid what I was, what I was needed to pay. So this was the first thing I actually noticed when I came back. They replaced not only the leather, but they replaced as well the whole the hardware. Then I kind of noticed that the, the ring wasn't as beautifully fixed. I'm not sure if you can tell, but it's about the piece that, you know, somehow how they cut it. It's not 
even cut it but I could again care less about that then what I also did I actually measured the thickness of this handle and this thickness is about a half millimeter thicker than my other Neverfull. What is it? Like, this is my Neverfull MM Indie Dame Azure. And the handle here are very thin and soft. And I'm not sure what's better, if it's better to have them thinner or thicker. So as you can tell, this is how it looks. All right. And the new version, the repair version, It's about this thing. You can tell. I mean, can you tell? And let me see if I can compare it. The top one is the one from the repair and the one on the bottom. The lower one is the one from my Damiazur. So clearly this strap is way thicker than this one, about a half centimeters, uh, a half millimeters. So, hmm. You know, I was just like, is that the new way to go? And I have not had any other brand new Neverfull since years, so I couldn't really tell if that's something they now are doing. Um, please let me know in the comment box below if maybe your new Neverfull has also thicker strap, or if not. Anyway, I mean, again, I could care less, and it's not really bothering me, to be honest. I don't feel like it is bothering me. It's absolutely fine. But the major bummer, the major bummer that this repair did to me is, again, they removed the date coat tab. So there is no date coat here on the back of this pocket, not on the other side of the pocket. Here basically should be the um, date code either on this side or on this side there is no there is no one and so basically what they did I'm not sure if you can tell let me show you on the never full in the mesure so you will believe me on this side you can tell here is the leather tab with the date code of the back which basically says when the bag was produced and where so um i was so shocked again when i uh, realized and learned that they basically removed my date code but then i started to feel something here inside so if i go with my finger and i just press on it i can tell that here is a piece of leather hidden in the pocket so I assume that the date code, the tab of the letter, you know, the letter tab with the date code is still here, but this hit is, was by mistake stitched, hidden and stitched by mistake on the, you know, pocket behind. So instead of having it here, it's a little bit here and I can really, really tell because again, if I go and, and, and I can tell it's here, it is here. And then what did, what did I do? I went in with my finger like this and I can feel it I can absolutely and I also try to pull it out to somehow pull it out and I'm not feeling the same on this side clearly because it could be that it's something else absolutely not I'm not feeling the same side here absolutely not but I can tell that my date code is here I didn't realize that in the store now we are again in a lockdown but what I decided to do is I will take pictures about, you know, the pocket and clearly that shows my date code is not visible and I will text my essay and I will ask her please to organize um, a return again for me and they shall please remove the date code from the hidden pocket. And I could also say, oh, come, leave it. I mean, bring it in again as repair they they probably have to stitch it they probably have to stitch it off again you know the whole vaqueta needs to be stitched off and i admit i'm a little bit um anxious to let them do that again because it could be if they stitch it off bring back the date code and then stitch it back then maybe it doesn't look as seamless as it looks now but you know what? I could 
I, I could care less again because I paid for it and I paid the initial price when I bought it, I paid the repair and that shall do a great job. And in case they won't stitch it back, seamless and perfect like they did now, I will resend it back until they do it. And I don't want to be as picky and I absolutely respect all employers by Louis Vuitton, you know, the manufacturer employers, the SAs, I respect all of them, but you know, we can do mistakes um, in our job and that's okay, it's absolutely normal and human doing mistakes, but you know, when it comes to those luxury items, we pay such a big amount of money, I really want to get back what I pay for. This is the only reason why I will definitely go back and, you know, bring this in and ask my SA to check it with them and see what they can do for me. Um, you know, the thing is, I couldn't say if I'm not gonna sell this hand. It's not about selling this handbag. It's about when I'm going around or across the border and then they, the police or the the, the duty, you know, um, the custom people will stop me and ask me whether this is original or not. How am I able to prove? Yes, I may can show them the invoice but they know about the date code, you know, they absolutely know that Louis Vuitton items have their own date code and if I cannot prove by showing them the date code, they could think that it's a counterfeit. So I want to avoid this issue and this is the reason why I'm going to send this in. And for the handle guys, please let me know in the comment box below if the handle, you know, the handle on your Neverfull is as thick or as thin as my other. And the last piece that I also will bring in for repair, there is no, the only experience I made so far with this one is that the, the, how is this called again? This trim here. It's not a leather trim, but it's a trim, right? This, no, it's, is it a leather trim? I don't know. So this trim here is actually melting. And it never ever happened to me before. Never. It really never happened. I saw a few um, Louis Vuitton uh, repair um, videos, and I've I've somehow um, been informed about this issue, but I've never had the experience. And now I can tell that this one is actually melting, and I could even moving around. I could move it around with my nails or fingers, you know, if I, if I go like this, I could. And maybe I'm gonna show it to you. Let me demonstrate it. Yeah, here you can definitely, oh, so. Can you tell here on this part, you can tell that the, how the heck is this called? Yeah. So here on this trim, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right here on this trim you can tell that it is kind of damaged so i will now go here and um, scratch it basically just to show you that this piece is melting all right can you tell <laughs> it is melting look Incredible. Wow, I damaged I damaged it even more. So it is melting and this should not happen at all. So in this case, even though the repair is far gone, uh, the, the guarantee I mean is far gone, I would ask them to please um, get this fixed uh, without asking me to pay for it, to be honest, because this is not something that happened because Oh my goodness, <laughs> I completely ruined it. Look, I ruined it. But it's okay, I don't, you know, it's okay. I will send it in anyway and they shall replace it. So the whole glazing, oh glazing, it's not trim, it's called glazing. Yay! Ah, I'm so happy. So the whole glazing basically is really melting. So this is what I've been experiencing the past few uh, weeks. I've noticed this the first time like four or five weeks ago but again we are in a hard lockdown so I am actually will take picture and you know send it to my essay and I will definitely send this in and hopefully they can replace the glazing without charging me. and this is it you guys uh, what shall I say um, 
overall i am happy that we have this service to bring our item in and bring you know send them to repair i'm happy we have that i would have been happier if the price wouldn't be as expensive and if the if the repair wasn't wouldn't take that long nevertheless um you know just keep just keep being picky you pay for your items and you have to be satisfied and happy so don't mind and don't be sad or you know like afraid to go back in and re-ask for the same repair in case it's been not delivered as you expected and yeah that's it for today's video guys i really really hope you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comment box below what your experience was and you know just share and let's have a chat and in case you're new on my channel and you enjoyed watching this video then please give me a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and thank you so so much for watching and talk to you soon in my next video bye